Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Law with Davida. Before we get started, I want to say thank you so much for 200 subscribers. Thank you all for supporting my content and helping me grow. As you can tell from the title, today's video is answering you all's law questions part two. As we all know, I can't get through all of your questions, but I'm going to try to get through as many as I can. The first, part of the, the first part of this video, I will link in the description down below. Thank you. Without further ado, let's get into the video. And it goes a little yeah. something like... The first question I'll be going over is what do lawyers do? A lawyer is also called an attorney. A lawyer gives legal advice to not just people, but government agencies and businesses. They also represent people who have been convicted of a crime. They stand up for your case to make sure you get the lowest bail possible or do not even get charged for it at all. So let's say you committed a crime. The lawyer would stand up and plead your case, giving factual and legal evidence to get you out of the situation. The second question is, do you want to be a lawyer? Yes, for a little, then I want to move on to something bigger. The third question is not a question, but I love your channel. Um, thank you so much and thank you all for helping me grow. The fourth and final question I'll be going over is what is the process of becoming a president and the electoral college and all that stuff? Um, let's get started. Okay, first you have to meet the guidelines. You have to be at least 35 years old and you have to be um, a U.S. citizen. Then you have to be a resident for in the U.S. for at least 14 years. Next, you have to consider things like your slogans and endorsements. Um, and you have to make your claims look very appealing so people could be interested and vote for you in the near future. Then you have to declare candidacy and file applications with the Federal Election Commission. Then you have to fundraise and campaign. You can't have like ads without money. And to campaign, people have to know you. And the only way to get like recognition is by ads. Also, you have to appeal to the average American, making yourself look kind and how everyone would want a leader to be. Continuing, you have primaries and caucuses. Primaries use secret ballots for voting. Caucuses are local gatherings of voters who vote at the end of a meeting of a particular candidate. Then it moves on to nominating conventions. In these political parties, each select their leader for their political party. Then you continue to go on rallies of all sorts and talk with the public. Then you have election day and the president is selected. For the electoral college, um, I have a video on that in answering your law questions part one. I'm going to link it down below so you can go and check it out. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the bell so you're aware when I post a new video. Jesus loves you, and see you soon.